These are the freaking people <laughs> that I have to come with to go to the New York State Renaissance Fair. <laughs> Just look at these guys, and this is why we were an hour and a half late. <laughs> this is why. Hey travelers, Vic Shaper-Cotter here, and today we're at the New York State Renaissance Fair. It's about 45 minutes north of Manhattan, and you can get here from the Port Authority by taking a bus to Tuxedo, New York. And I think it actually brings you straight to the fairgrounds. So, I'm here with my friends Kai and Patrick, and uh, my other friend from France, Sarah. And we're on our way to a magic show right now, I believe. Not necessarily sure what we're going to be seeing there. I guess a little bit of magic of some sort. Hopefully it's good. But honestly, what I could really go for right now is some freaking big mutton leg right now. Or something like that. Getting pretty hungry. In any case, the New York Renaissance Fair is between August 17th and October 6th. Weekends only. Plus Labor Day. Make sure to buy your tickets online beforehand, otherwise you will pay a few dollars more at the fair. You can take a bus to the fair with Coach USA. The bus departs from the Port Authority bus terminal on 42nd Street in Manhattan. You have the option to buy the bus ticket and the fare ticket all in one shot. If you are coming from Long Island like I am, then take the Cross Island Expressway to the Throgs Neck Bridge. Then take the Hutchinson River Parkway to the Tappan Zee Bridge. Well, at least this was the way that Kai's GPS told us to go. The fairgrounds are on Route 17A. You will see many big signs pointing towards the fair, and when you arrive, don't bother with preferred parking for $15. Kai parked in the free parking lot, which is only about a 10 minute walk from the entrance. Every week there is a different theme at the fair. Some themes include Kids Weekend, Sci-Fi Weekend, and Romance Weekend. This weekend is Marketplace Weekend, where arts and crafts vendors are selling their Renaissance-themed merchandise, many of which are handmade or hand-blown. One word of caution is that all of the vendors, including the food and beverage vendors, are cash only, so make sure you bring plenty of cash with you when you go to the Renaissance Fair. The fair has plenty of food options available, like chicken, turkey, fries, burgers, and the like, but I was craving for something much more exotic. Oh, look what we have here. Kai found some exotic jerky. You want any? Okay. Okay, we are live at the Renaissance, New York Renaissance Fair, Tuxedo Park. This is Victor eating, uh, what are we having? So this is boar jerky right here. I've never had anything like it before. I'm normally not a jerky person. So let's see how this one tastes. Mm. Yeah. Tastes very good. Nice. A little bit sweet and peppery. What else you got here? You have a couple of bags. I have four. There's buffalo jerky, literally from buffalo, not buffalo chicken. Okay. There's alligator jerky. Ooh, okay, and gators. Ostrich jerky. So ostrich? The, the next one is the buffalo jerky. This one, I don't, I had buffalo burgers before, so I don't think this one is going to be anything too crazy. How's the texture? The buffalo one is actually really soft. I know it's like beef, but. I would probably say that the buffalo is better than the boar. Alright. What else you got? I have um, some alligator jerky. And I heard this tastes exactly like chicken. Oh, okay. They're right. It really does. It tastes like a spicy version of alligator. I mean, a spicy version of chicken. But you'd have no idea it's alligator. Wow. You really would have no idea. Nice, okay. What's the last one? Ostrich. Ooh. If I can get it, this one in the freaking bag. <laughs> this is ostrich. 
Now this is the only poultry that I believe is dark meat. Uh, red meat. It's the only one that's red meat. So I always wanted to try ostrich. So here it goes. I don't know if it's the texture or if it's the flavor, but it tastes a little bit sweeter. Maybe it's the sauce or something like that, but I think out of the three of these, this is probably the hardest texture-wise. Okay. What's it? Did you expect it to be sweet? Uh, no. <laughs> actually, the ostrich I thought would be... Uh, well, actually, that technically is a red meat. Alligator is probably my favorite. Okay. I'm in Louisiana that they actually have alligator pizza. Ooh. Somebody, one of my friends from the had alligator pizza and he said it was delicious. And I think I have to agree with his decision. The alligator is definitely the best. And okay. this probably is maybe the most exotic one, I think. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, how so if you're at the Renaissance Fair, make sure you get yourself some alligator jerky. You Bye won't guys. be disappointed. After enjoying some delicious alligator meat, I discovered some archery courts on my way to meet up with my friends. If it wasn't on a schedule, I would have tried my hand at the bow and arrow, but the target was too close to the line, and I prefer more of a challenge. Uh, who am I kidding? I totally stink at it. Apparently they have staged pirate fights here too. I don't think they were professionals though. Just a bunch of guys and gals, uh, renaissance fair geeks, having some fun. Don't worry, the girl ends up winning. See, what did I tell you? Funny story, I ordered myself a Turkish burger, which is a beef patty with Turkish spices, but while I had my back turned in order to get a drink, the guy in the chicken suit ate my food. You can't make this up. So to drown my sorrows, I ordered myself a bee sting, which is apparently a woodchuck cider with a splash of meat in it. And while I was drinking my alcoholic beverage, trying to forget about the Turkish burger that got away, I was admiring some of the sick Renaissance-themed costumes. I think I might wear something like this next year. Oh. Sarah, remind me of Joan of Arc. Sorry? With the... with the... with the... <laughs> it's Joan of Arc! We went to some acrobatic shows around the fair, three of them. The first was cute and adorable, the second was a comedian who danced around with fire, and the third had a balancing act which impressed the hell out of me. Here are some of the highlights of the shows. I won't make any interruptions. I promise. Yeah, boy, Do you guys want to see the cat jump even further? <laughs> All right, Packy Meow, we're going long distance. You got this, buddy. Come on and jump to the stool. <laughs> Packy Meow, come on and jump to the stool. No, no. Okay, one of those guys. And jump to the stool. To the stool. <laughs> You want a little bit more. I got my back. I feel
real V, dog. <laughs> I got a little bit more. Hit it. One, two, three. It was just goofy. <laughs> I can't believe you clapped. <laughs> There's more. This, this trick is not done until I'm standing up and my back is dirty. Not yet. I love you, but not yet. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, 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 You guys are really fun. You get a bonus. You get a bonus. One, two. And the crowd goes! I got you dead. <laughs> Feels the burn! Yeah. Love the pain! Yeah! Alright, now I can tell some of the were not going crazy. That's okay. I understand. Do you want a little bit more? Yeah. You ungrateful moves. <laughs> I got thy back. Watch. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I should have graduated. <laughs> oh, this part is nothing. I can tell from your applause. Look, look, I don't need your pity, okay? <laughs> I need your money. <laughs> Not a joke. Diana. <laughs> Diana, please, hand me the machines. Yes, sir, I like that. Yeah. Diana. Not so dirty, dirty. <laughs> Diana, ever, ever so gently, high five. Gently, good. Diana, now go away. <laughs> Lost your birthday. What I'm about to attempt is known in the industry as a combination style stunt, balancing while juggling. It's also known as stupid. <laughs> you get an amazing audience for my third show today. So I will try this for the the hard way. See if I can make this a ten dollar stunt. Oh my! Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Now. Fire whip finale, say yeah. yeah! Can I get a oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Clap on the beat. One, two, three. I'm an artist! <laughs> Gee, 
really good one. That was all nice and fun, but do you know what I really came to see? A joust. <laughs>